Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another laptop here. Uh, in today's video, we have an HP laptop. This one is an HP laptop 15-EF1008 uh, model. And in this uh, video, I'm gonna show you guys how to open it up and how you can upgrade the RAM on this uh, laptop. And uh, this applies for any La HP laptop 15 with an EF series model. So if you have an EF series, doesn't matter whatever number it comes after that, this uh, video is for you. If yours has an 8 gig RAM, I'm gonna show you guys how you can go up to 16 gig RAM with no issues and you can even go higher if you need to they do come with a ryzen 3 in gpu and apu so let's get it started first thing first you want to power off the laptop completely and you're going to flip it upside down and on the bottom cover you're going to realize that there is only two screws available to remove but there is a few more hidden screws in here the tools that you're going to be needing is a screwdriver set I always suggest that you guys get the iFixit screwdriver set. And from here, we're going to be using a Phillips number one. These bits are made, made out of S2 class steel. That means they're really tough in steel compared to the other brand. And you will need an opening tool. And uh, to get the opening tool, you can get the Pro set. I'll leave the link in my video description. But if you don't want to get the Pro set, you can buy any guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick are really suitable to opening covers, laptops, cell phones, and anything else. And obviously play guitar. So what we're gonna do right now first, we're gonna remove the back cover right here. So stick the guitar pick right underneath and lift it up straight up and bring it up in 45 degrees. You don't wanna go over like this, otherwise you're gonna snap the rubber here and you're gonna have two rubber parts. Has a little adhesive, so make sure your hands are clean. So it's the adhesive. And now here we're gonna see one black screw, one chrome, and one black screw here. Go ahead and do the same thing on the front end of the laptop. Remove the front end and put it to one side. And you're gonna see three more chrome screws right here. All the screws are all the same except the two black screws on the corner, one for each hinge. Go ahead and remove all the screws and keep them in two different piles. Also, I realized that only 1% of my viewers are subscribing to the channel. If you guys find my content useful and helping you guys out and you want to support the channel, you can click that like button and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it and it will be a tremendous support for me, for the channel. So there's the bottom screws right there. Once you have the screws removed, now you're going to open up the laptop a little bit. You want to stick the guitar pick or the opening tool between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. Now you want to twist it towards the outside like this and do it every few centimeters or every centimeters. Do it all around in the front. Make sure you hear those big loud sounds so that the covers are getting loose. Once you did the front end, do the same thing on the sides, go all the way to the back corner. There you go. Don't use the screwdrivers or anything like that. Otherwise, you're going to damage your cover. These things is really, really hard with this one. You damage or scratch. Once you did the sides and the front, you want to close down the laptop. And you want to grab the whatever side you want to start with. I'm going to start with the, where you use the USB-C port. Grab the bottom cover. Lift it up, run your finger across and bring it up and just pull it up and push it towards the other side. And the bottom cover should come out pretty easy. And the RAM should be right here. This laptop does have two RAM DIMM available, so you can actually upgrade them. This one comes with a uh, 4 gig RAM, but you can replace it with an 8 gig and 8 gig, so you have a and uh, at least 16 gig ram these are uh, ddr4 ram sticks so you can grab any ddr4 ram i'll leave the link in the video description for few that is compatible with this one to remove the ram it's really simple 
all you need to do is to grab the two hooks on the clips on the side and pull them away from each other and the ram will come out in 45 degree angle and all you want to do is grab it in the same 45 degree angle and pull it out in the same direction let's put it back down you don't want to grab it and pull it up otherwise you're going to break the jack or break the ram you want to slide it out in the same direction once you got the new ram make sure the notch on the ram this notch right here matches the notch on the ram dim so if you try to put it the other way around let's say if i want to put it this way around it will not go through because they're not right there they're not matching so make sure you flip it over so once the notch are matched bring it in 45 degree angle it's just like a landing a plane bring it in all the way towards the jack and then push it towards the motherboard and you should hear two triggers clicking just like that and all you need to do is to grab the new ram that you have let me see if i have one over here this is a ddr3 I don't have a DDR4 lying around right now, so imagine if you have the new RAM here, grab it, bring it in 45, and snap it right into place. Again, just put it on. All you need to remember, it's when you put the new RAM in here and you power on, it might take to 5 to 10 seconds for the BIOS to detect the RAM and do a memory check. And if after 5 to 10 seconds, you still did not get any screen I mean, but the fans everything is spinning all you need to do is to open up the laptop again and swipe the places and again turn it on and see if you get a screen and if the swiping didn't work then remove both of the rams and only place the new ram on the dim one then turn it on once you get the boot menu on the on the windows then shut down and place the second one and power on by having two RAMs, then you're going to have a dual channel memory activated automatically, which is much faster than having a single RAM DIMM. All right, once you finish with that, just grab the top cover, bring it down, hook down one side, doesn't matter which side you want to start with, hook it right in there, and push it down, make sure you those clicks, work yourself in the front end, go all the way back to the other corner, back middle, and in the middle there's a tiny hooks so you want to click those two and now you want to open up the laptop if you see any gap open, like this one here all you need to do is just pinch them and it will go right in its place check the corner back corner front and close it down now all you need to do is to put down the bottom screws first go ahead put the black screws one on each corner by the hinges and after that you want to put the chrome screws wherever you find a screw hole they're all the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching them again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own upgrade if it did you know what to do click that like button if you want to support the channel just subscribe to the channel i really appreciate it if you have any question or requests leave them in a the video comment and i will try to answer them as soon as i can as always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video.